If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Yo, what is up, guys? Clickwood here back again with some more Madden 17 content. Today, guys, what I have for you is the top five quarterbacks starting the season for Madden 17. Now, I just want to point out these are not the ratings for their Mutt cards. A lot of people asked that on a previous video that I put out about the rookies yesterday. This is not the cards uh, for Mutt, so keep that in mind. Uh, you can probably make a good assumption that the Mutt cards are probably going to be at least two to three, possibly even four or five ratings overall below lower than what you see here on the screen. So again, keep that in mind as you're actually, you know, comparing and what you think is going to happen for Mutt. It's, there's a very good chance that the, that the top players here are still going to be the top players for Mutt, but their overall ratings are probably not going to be quite the same. Anyway, guys, let's start things off here. The top five quarterbacks. This is number five. We're starting off with a 91 overall Russell Wilson, 85 speed, 93 throw power, short accuracy is a 93, mid accuracy is a 91, and then deep accuracy at an 88. So pretty balanced here. Nice thing about this card is that he has an 85 speed. As we all know, guys, most people like to use Seattle online when you're playing with these standard teams. So I assume that this is going to continue again. Wilson just continues to get better and better every year in Madden and you know of course he had a big year last year he was very very productive especially the second half of the season so of course it makes sense that he's going to get some boosts in his throw power throw accuracy and also potentially even his speed I would like to know what his acceleration is going to be as well but starting things off here I mean it looks pretty damn good for the fifth best quarterback in the game. At number four, we have a guy who has struggled through injury problems throughout his career, but still just comes back every single season and puts up monster numbers when he's healthy. And that is, of course, Big Ben Roethlisberger. Monster, monster throwing attributes here, guys. Huge arm with a 95 throw power. His short accuracy is great at a 95, mid accuracy at 96, and he's still got a 90 for a deep throw accuracy. That is crazy, crazy good for Ben Roethlisberger. Again, 73 speed is pretty damn low so unfortunately he's not going to be the most mobile of quarterbacks he really hasn't been very mobile over the past couple of seasons I'm sure that you know the coaches have told him you know you need to tone down running the ball a little bit you as you're getting a hold of Ben but even still he does still have the, the throwing attributes that make him an elite player in Madden and of course I think a lot of people are going to be big fans of this Pittsburgh offense he's got a lot of great players to throw the ball to you know who knows what's going to happen as far as like your your Martavis Bryant uh, as far as like what his status is going to be in Madden this year good chance that he's probably not going to be in the game but if he is damn I mean you're talking about some pretty beastly receivers if you consider that Antonio Brown's on there Le'Veon Bell we've got Ladarius Green now I mean this is going to be a high powered Pittsburgh Steelers offense and definitely a team that you could use in your head-to-head -head games next on the list we have the number three best quarterback now, in my opinion, Tom Brady's getting the shaft here, fam. I mean, I think Tom Brady should be higher than this personally, but it's not that bad. He is still rated a 94 overall. Definitely a really good player. And if you take a look at these attributes here, man, you've got 94 for a throw power, which is very, very good. 98 for a throw accuracy short and a 98 for a throw accuracy mid. Both of those attributes, I believe, are going to be among the highest in the game. So that is definitely an awesome start. He also has an 84 for a deep throw accuracy. Now that is actually surprisingly low. I know Brady has gone from being the deep ball thrower over the past few years to being kind of the more methodical uh, throwing the ball short type of quarterback. And that might just be more to due to the type of receivers that he has on his team now. The Danny Amin Dolas, of course, the Julian Edelmans and, and guys like that versus the old Randy Mosses and, and players like that that were kind of the more deep throw type receivers. Um, you know, as you see Tom Brady evolving his game, the attributes in Madden are also evolving a little bit. So we're getting some higher uh, attributes with those throw accuracies for short and mid. And personally, I throw mid most often, I would say. So that's kind of the most important attribute to me, the deep throw accuracy. As long as it's like an 80 or above, typically it's going to be decent enough that your receiver is going to be able to get there. So I'm not too worried about that, but hopefully we'll see him in Mutt get a little bit higher throw accuracy deep throughout the season. One thing that he does also have is a 99 awareness. Although as we 
know when you're user controlling your quarterback, that's actually pretty much completely irrelevant. So I don't even really think that that's something to talk about. But something that you see on here, the first 99 attribute that we see this year. On to number two now, and we've got the reigning NFL most valuable player, Cam Newton, coming off just a ridiculous season. And his mutt ratings definitely show that he is a reigning NFL MVP. Great speed here. Great elusiveness as well. 86 speed, 87 for elusiveness. Also has great throw power at a 97. Short accuracy at a 94. Mid accuracy at a 93. Now, one thing that we don't see on here that we do with all the other quarterbacks is that we don't see his deep throw accuracy. Now, I will say Cam Newton has struggled throughout his career at times with his accuracy, but in 2015, he threw the ball deep and threw it fairly effectively deep. So I, I actually wouldn't be that surprised if he has a decent deep throw accuracy in Madden to start the season this year. The fact that it's not on here, though, does kind of lend me to believe that it's probably going to be lower 80s, somewhere in that range, kind of like what we saw with Tom Brady at an 84. I think that Cam could possibly be somewhere in that type of range, maybe even just a, a, a notch or two lower. But even still, I think that's still going to be pretty decent. Like I said, as long as it's like 80 or above, I'm typically okay with that. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about that. Uh, but definitely, this Cam Newton is a beast of a card. Big time throw power our big time accuracy and of course that speed is just going to be ridiculously difficult to defend in head-to-head -head games and I'm assuming that in Mutt he's going to still have among the fastest quarterback cards in the game big time strength as well so he's going to be so difficult to take down and that could mean that a lot of people actually use the Carolina Panthers this year. Of course, they're going to have a good defense just like they have in recent years. Uh, but again, having Cam Newton as your quarterback, man, that makes things pretty damn difficult to stop on offense as well. So we'll definitely see what happens here with Cam Newton over the course of the season. I'm expecting some nice mutt cards for him throughout the year. But we've got one more quarterback to take a look at here, and it is a guy who has been so consistent throughout his career, and that is Aaron Rodgers. Now, Aaron Rodgers starts the season off with a 96 overall. Definitely the best quarterback item here in of the top five. I, I don't think there's any question about it. You take a look at the fact that he has a 98 for a throw power along with 90 or above for all of the throw accuracies. I mean, that is just crazy, crazy high. The short accuracy at a 96, mid accuracy at a 94, and the deep accuracy still checking in at a 90. Very, very nice attributes here for Aaron Rodgers. He's also still elusive enough that he's going to be able to get away from the defense as well at a 78 for a speed. Keep in mind, guys, this is not the end of Mutt. This is the beginning of the season here for Madden, and so 78 speed for a quarterback is actually not bad. There are not going to be a whole lot of you know defensive linemen and linebackers that are just going to be able to track him down from behind. So it's not necessarily a bad attribute to start the season off here, like I said, at a 78. So with that being said, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, drop a like on the video and let me know in the comment section below what guys kind of got robbed here. Did somebody like, you know, like an Eli Manning, a Tony Romo, uh, did a Phillip Rivers, a Drew Brees, did any of those guys get left off? And if they did, who would you knock off of the top five to put the guy that you think should be in there in that place? Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Thanks again so much for the support. Drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will talk to you guys again soon.